Norway is the first country in the world in indicators of well-being. Because of its economic, social and political system, it depends for its income on oil, tourism, technology, industry and agriculture, education, social care, health system and equal opportunities for the people of the same country and others. Norway is one of the most luxurious countries in the world. In this video, we will show you Norway's biggest current and future projects. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. Norway's capital, Oslo, may soon become home to the world's most sustainable and future-oriented cities. It issued plans for a city near Oslo Airport, to be known as Oslo Airport City, which will become the first energy-producing airport city. The energy produced in the city itself is the exclusive source of energy for the city of Oslo Airport. Self-driving electric cars will also roam the streets. This city can be navigated on foot. The city center will be completely car-free. This city will support the use of green technology. It will also produce all its needs from renewable energy. The city is expected to be completed by 2022. With the rise in sales of electric cars, Europe is trying to boost its capacity to produce batteries locally. Instead of relying entirely on Asian countries such as China, Japan, and South Korea, 38 giant battery cell plants are planned to be built in Europe and the UK. These companies include Vircor in France, British Volt in the UK, Ital Volt in Italy, Basque Volt Navit in Spain and Frere in Norway. And if all 38 factories are implemented, 462 gigawatt hours of battery cells could be produced in 2025, and 1,144 gigawatt hours in 2030. Thus, Europe will be able to operate more than 90% of all new car sales by 2030. Norway has identified two areas in the North Sea to generate about 4.5 gigawatts of floating and bottom-mounted wind turbines. This is just under half of the capacity currently installed in Britain. Norway is developing wind electricity generation in the North Sea. The first development licenses will soon be granted. The first wind farms in the Norwegian North Sea are expected to be operational by the end of this decade. Norway seeks to reduce greenhouse gas emissions from its offshore platforms. Although Norway is not a member of the European Union, however, it contributes to increasing the capacity of offshore wind energy destined for the continent. From 12 gigawatts to 60 gigawatts by 2030. Norway has announced a new oil and gas discovery in the Terhans field in the Norwegian Sea with the intention to immediately start operating works. Estimated recoverable resources to date range from 3 to 4.2 million standard cubic meters of recoverable oil equivalent. Equivalent to 19 to 26 million barrels of oil equivalent. The Norwegian announced a project aimed at increasing the ability to isolate and isolate greenhouse gas emissions and prevent their access to the atmosphere. The new project is called Longship. This project will not only reduce carbon emissions, it will also lead to the development of new technologies and job opportunities. Carbon emissions from various activities will be stored in a cement plant in Bravik, about 150 kilometers. Norway is committed to reducing carbon dioxide emissions by 50 to 55 percent by 2030. Norway is building the world's first tunnel dedicated to the navigation of large sea vessels. And that in Shotcod Bay, which is famous for its many severe storms in winter and spring. The tunnel, which is one mile long and 118 feet wide, will be cut under a mountainous peninsula in northwest Norway. The construction of the project will cost the equivalent of about $330 million. The process of constructing the underground tunnel takes from three to four years. Construction is expected to start in 2022, and a project to construct a hidden inner sea tunnel that will not be affected by tides and weather. 
Instead, it will allow naval vessels to travel safely and quickly without maritime danger. Germany and Norway have reached an agreement on an expanded project to buy submarines worth billions of euros. The two countries will jointly purchase six Type 212 submarines from the German company Tizenkrupp. Germany will get two submarines, while Norway will get four. The project will cost Norway about 4.5 billion euros. A new water supply system will be built in Oslo. Norway has started preparatory work on the new Oslo water supply project. The project mainly consists of rock blasting chambers and three large tunnels with a total length of 5 kilometers. Its main objective is to ensure the water supply in Oslo even in the event of a failure of vital parts of the water supply system. The contract value is approximately 324 million US dollars. The project is expected to be completed in May 2024. Because there are more than a thousand fjords on the west coast of Norway. The 1,100 km journey from the southern city of Kristiansand to the southern city of Trondheim takes 21 hours. Requires crossing using seven phrases. The Norwegian government plans to shorten this time frame and make the route ferry free with a $40 billion project. The plan includes bridges, as well as the world's longest and deepest tunnel, which will be at a depth of 392 meters. Its length will be 27 kilometers. The tunnel will be dug through the rocks under the sea floor. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration aims to complete the project by 2050. Three suspension bridges and five floating bridges will be built. The importance of floating tunnels is that they are an alternative solution in fjords more than 1 km deep. It is more than 5 km wide. As its depth will not allow the construction of a tunnel through it or bridges hanging over it. The tunnel will have less traffic noise compared to the bridges. The biggest risks associated with this project are explosions, fires and overloading. The Norwegian Public Roads Administration is investigating the behavior of tubular concrete structures in the event of internal explosions. But the improved E39 route will expand tourism on the country's west coast. In addition, the tunnel itself may be an attractive landmark if it is the first in the world. And here we come to the end of the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell.